all so, so well. So today is a pretty exciting video because we're going to be unboxing a new handbag. As always, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I make new videos every Sunday and I would love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so I don't even really know where to begin, so I do apologize if this video is going to be a bit all over the place, but if you've seen my 2018 luxury wish list video, if you haven't, I'll leave it linked down below, then you probably know that I said that I wanted to buy my first Chanel bag and that I wanted to get the um, Chanel mini rectangular in lambskin. And after a bit of searching, I put myself on a waiting list for that bag about two months ago. And while I was waiting, I, I don't know, I kind of did some more research and I always loved the boy bag. I always thought it was just such a stunning bag. However, I always thought it was a little too big and bulky for me. That's before I knew that that particular bag also came in a smaller size. Um, so then while I was on the waiting list for the mini rectangular, I was kind of leaning more towards the small boy bag and going back and forth and really couldn't decide. So I actually did a poll on Instagram and a lot of you guys helped me, um, just kind of decide there. And it was actually a tie. A lot of people voted for the boy and also a lot of people voted for the classic mini. So that was very interesting to see. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I'll leave that link down below as well. Anyways, I ended up making a decision which I found was so difficult. If you know me, I'm such an overthinker. Like, I overthink absolutely everything. It starts with what I'm going to have for dinner to what I'm going to wear. Like, I overthink everything. So something like that. It really took me a while to, you know, just think about what would be right for me, what I would be getting the most use out of, and, you know, things like that. So once I made a decision on which bag I wanted to purchase, then I had to think about which leather, um, which hardware, which color. So it took a little while to figure out what exactly I wanted, but I think I made the right choice. And I have this bag in the box still. I got it, believe it or not, like a week ago. And I didn't open it yet because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So you can kind of see my first impression and yeah, all of that good stuff. And I've actually not seen this bag in person. I've never tried it on. So here is the box. And I think I'm going to stop rambling and just... I'm just gonna go ahead and open the box and show you guys what I got and then I'll explain why I chose which leather and hardware and things like that. Also, um, before I forget to mention this, I did get this bag from Bergdorf Goodman. I actually had to work with three different SAs from three different locations to find the exact bag that I wanted. So, I don't know, that's something to keep in mind. And I was really lucky. The three people that helped me were so incredibly nice and just helpful. I wish I could have purchased from every single one of them, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. Let's go ahead and just open this box. I am definitely uh, a bit nervous because I, I didn't think that I would have this bag in my collection this early on, if that makes sense. I definitely thought it would be a little later in life. So, so yeah, I'm really excited, but I'm also a bit nervous. All right, so the ribbon's off. And I keep thinking I'm out of focus, so I hope, I hope you guys can see me good. Let's just open this. Okay, this is kind of hard to do one-handed. Oh, this is so weird. I, can you guys believe that I've had this bag for a week and I have not looked at it? So proud of myself. Okay, so here is the bag in its dust bag. Oh God. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so here is the bag I got. Oh my God, I love it. It's beautiful. So, so pretty. Right, let me get all this stuff off so we can take a better look at it. Okay, so I took everything off and as you can see, I decided to go with the small boy bag in caviar leather with the 
gold hardware. Now let me talk about the leather for just a minute. It took me a while to decide on if I should go with lambskin or caviar. About a week, I would say, it was definitely the one thing that took me the longest to decide on. And I know that I want this bag for like an everyday bag. I don't want to have to baby it. I want to be able to wear it whenever I want to. And I know that a lot of people say that lambskin is very delicate and scratches easily. Um, a lot of the SAs did recommend the caviar and I did some research online, which was really, really interesting how split the opinions were on this. So many people, of course, said that the lambskin was very delicate and did scratch easy, but then there were also a lot of people that said that the um, caviar was actually more delicate and the lambskin was very durable. So, you know, like I said, opinions were very split. At the end, I decided to go with the caviar because it is my first Chanel bag and I don't want it to get scratched and I don't want to have to worry about it too much and, you know, just baby it. And I think I made the right choice because I think it's absolutely beautiful in the pictures because I didn't see this in person. Um, it looked very matte, but it's actually really, really beautiful and it's not as matte as it seem to be in the photos. So I'm really happy about that. So let's go ahead and open it just really quickly so I can show you guys the inside. So when you open this, um, you just have, okay, this is kind of hard <laughs> to do. You just have like one large compartment and then there's the authenticity card in a little like tiny pocket back here. Also, at first I was gonna go with the silver hardware, but when I saw this light, like light, beautiful gold, I just knew that I had to get this. I think it's so, so beautiful. I mean, if you just take a look at it, I just love the way it looks. And I think that a lot of people think that gold is, you know, more dressy. If you get a bag with gold hardware, it's, you know, makes it more dressy. But for me, I think it fits my everyday lifestyle and I can definitely see myself wearing a bag with gold hardware, you know, just casually or dressed up as well. Also, I wanted to show you guys that every Chanel bag comes with one of these. Um, I think this is like a little cloth to clean your bag. You put your hand in and then you can kind of like baby your bag and just clean it with this, which I think is really nice that they give you one of these. And that is it for this video. Now, if you want me to, then I will definitely do another video and I will show you guys what fits inside this bag because it is very small. However, I think it's gonna be great for my lifestyle because I did some research and I know what all it can fit. But yeah, if you, if you want me to, then um, just let me know down below. I'll make a separate video and show you guys what fits inside and also show you guys how I style it and what it looks like on. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.